You want me to go through it again now that I have your attention? No, please. Go through graph like how to how to do it on the computer. What's an example of what? Okay, so some people are asking for this. Do I have a question? Would you record see everything you're doing on there? Everything. I know. In fact, you can go on Schoology and you can re-look at the entire... <laughs> Let's do some graphing. I got my X, I got my Y. If you choose not to pay attention, that's fine with me. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to show people. I'm listening. You be my guest. You do what you need to do. The test is tomorrow. One more? Okay, and then I'll make up some numbers here. Okay, so there's your data, right? You're going to do this. You're going to go insert A, scatter plot, this one here. Kind of linear ish. I mean, I just made those numbers up on the spot, so. Right? Okay, then we're going to go to somebody remind me where it is. Yeah, just right click it. Right click it? Where is insert trend line? It's under layout. It's under layout? I always forget, I have to go look for it. There we go. Okay, so we're going to go trend line. Yep. Okay, we're going to pick linear. If you want to see the equation, Display equation on chart. What does the R squared value mean? Do you remember? No. What does R squared mean? Anybody know? It's somewhere between, actually it's between minus 1 and 1. The closer to 1, the more perfect your data is to that straight line, right? So there's my equation right there. It's 0.8x. You guys probably can't see that. Uh, zoom? No. There we go. So my equation is 0.88x plus 3.2. The R squared is, pardon me, 0.95, which means it's pretty close to linear. What's the slope of the line? No. No. 0.88 is the slope of the line. The point plus 3.2 is what? The y-intercept, right? Remember, y equals mx plus b. Most of the time, the y-intercept will be zero. What kind of things would cause the y-intercept not to be zero? Besides errors and mistakes. For some reason, it's just not starting at zero, right? It, whatever the zero is here, like generally, whatever the zero is on the x, it's going to be a zero y. But like, say you're weighing something in like a paper cup, right? Zero marbles would still have the weight of the paper cup. So something like that could cause that, right? I would expect you to be able to, given that equation, if I said uh, whatever this is down here, like let's say this is... Uh, I don't know, measured in cubic centimeters. I might say, what's 500 cubic centimeters of this thing weigh in grams? If this is grams up here, how would you do that? You take 500 and you place it in for x and solve. I would expect you to be able to come up with that 0.88x by hand as well. Like I might likely say, Drop that down on a sheet of paper, come up with the slope. What points would you use to calculate the slope? Does it always have to be first and last? In this case, the first is a good one. Why? It's right on the line. What other one should I use? Maybe that one? I think that's the next best one, wouldn't you say? Okay, so what are those data points? Uh, let's go back to 100%. Here. Are those data points I'm using... That one and that one, those data points are 10, 12, and 50, 48, right? So then I would go rise over run, 
48 minus 12 over 50 minus 10, which is uh, 38, 36 over 40. What's 36 divided by 40? I can do that in my head. What's the equation then? Assuming that the y-intercept is at zero, what's the equation? y equals 0.9x, right? Assuming that the b is zero. Yeah, 48 minus 12. Rise over run. What's the y? It's y2, remember? It's y2 minus y1 all over x2 minus x1, right? Anything else from here? Graphing. The meaning of slope refers to, in this case here, you'd have to know like something like the units, right? <coughs> cubic centimeters. So the, the units of the slope would be grams per cubic centimeter. You have to be able to figure out what this quantity divided by that quantity means. So that'd be density. The density is the one that I used over and over again, right? But that doesn't mean that's what it's going to be. Yeah. You've got to be able to figure out what it is. If it's... If I've got meters and seconds here, then what is it? The units is meters per second, so what's the meaning of the slope? What do you measure in meters per second? Speed or velocity? Yeah, you take the slope and you write y equals the slope times x. y2 minus y1 all over x2 minus x1. That's the general formula for an equation, right? Y equals mx plus b. B being the y-intercept. I'm going to go through the vector golf here. Especially question number three. Okay, let's take a few seconds and have a look at the vector golf assignment here. Heather, I apologize. I'll get it to you in this period if I get well, It won't take the long to mark, okay? All right, you will notice that I made a few changes for the next group. What change did I make? Well, I broke it into three parts because... So many people forgot to write this answer. What is the one vector called that is the sum of all the vectors? It's called the resultant. I right? Told us that. You still might be wrong. Your answer should look something like this. I don't remember exactly, but basically you draw from there to somewhere there, right? Yeah. With, oh, that doesn't look good. You know what? Let me just do this. Hang on. Let's try it again. Zoom out a little bit here. Okay, so you're going to start somewhere here. I'm just going to basically go through some of the common mistakes that I saw. Something like that, right? Put an arrowhead. I did that. Don't be lazy. Put an arrowhead. The next one goes somewhere like kind of there, I think, right? Put an arrowhead. That's the next shot, right? I don't recall the exact answer. Let me see if I can. Oh, 46, 46 yards. 46? Why are you guys need 46? Oh, we need to put it in the hole. My, my answer is 34 yards. I have 40 yards closer. Ah. 34 yards at South 17 East. Now, there were a few people that still insist on measuring this angle. That is a no no. Stop doing that. That is wrong. Okay? You measure from where? It says south 17 east. You must measure from south. You have to draw the reference line, and that, my friend, is what you measure. That angle there. You always measure from either north, south, east, or west. You never measure from the other vector. Thanks. Don't do that. I think I should put it in the hole. I like back to the original. How far, what direction would his tee shot have to be to be a hole-in-one? Well, that would be from there to there. 
And my answer was? 310 yards at north 10 west. And again, do not measure that. Measure from north. Measure from north. So it's this angle here. Which one? This one? Oh, oh yeah, actually, it's sorry, it's south 17 west. Actually, my answer, I didn't draw this for my My second shot ended up from like right there. It's actually kind of like that. I was looking at what I drew. I actually had south 17 east. Yeah. Uh, it, it should be over here somewhere. I'll show you mine if you like. Number two. This one here, it ends up kind of like this. There, there, and then short, right? This is what I wanted, you guys. I've changed it. It says he is now 10, short, 10 yards short of the hole his next shot. This is what I wanted. I wanted to be end up like there. And I wanted you to show me how you figured that out. Okay, and I went around and I adjusted people that were confused or just wanted to put in the hole. I've changed the question. Does that match the question now? Is that better, do you think? Does that explain better? Yeah. What is the result of these three shots? So it would be from there to there. I actually need to see it. I need to see it. I need to see Arrowhead. Stop being lazy. The correct answer is 474. And you must have an angle. South, 15 east. Every vector must have an angle. Can you give me extra marks now? No. Like Do it right next time. I like the 13 and a half garbage. So you measure from... Okay, number three we need to talk about. This is vector subtraction. Well, Remember, I did this with lots of people. Resultant is the ball plus the wind. We are solving, the question is, how far and in what direction must he hit the ball? So the ball vector is equal to the resultant minus the wind. How do we show vector subtraction? Adding the opposite. So where's the resultant? The resultant is from T-box to hole, right? Yeah, why not? T-box to hole. I need to show minus wind. The wind is west 55 north. West. And then in dotted line here, the wind is 55 to the north. You have to show vector subtraction, which is minus W. So in other words, we're going to flip this around so that it goes the other way. I flipped it the other way. And I placed them tip to tail, like so. Oh. Yeah, this one there. This isn't very big. It's there. What now is my ball speed? Let's do it and let's just do this. The ball is like this. Here's my ball, there's my minus wind, there's my result. If I'm standing on the tee box and the wind is blowing that direction, if I hit it right at the hole, where do I end up? Over here. I have to aim out here, don't I? I gotta aim out here so the wind blows it back. That's the diagram that I'm looking for to show vector subtraction. 195 yards at south 81 east. Does that, that minus wind be like a. Uh, what do you mean? Yeah. Never mind. We're not doing the wind is going in that direction, right? So I got to aim into it. I want that diagram to get full marks. That's what I want to see. 
Number four is pretty easy, right? End up there. Something like that. 232.5 yards at West 10 North. I got West 7 North. Is that close enough? What's the rule for plus or minus? How much can you be out by? Three. Three degrees. Oh my gosh! Three. <laughs>